Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Following the devastating breakup of Joey Grazia D and Daisy Kent on last week's The Bachelor Final, which captured the attention of Bachelor Nation, Daisy spoke candidly about her time on the program with the hosts of the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast. Serena Pitt and Joe Amabile, Daisy's co-hosts, questioned her about the casting process and her experience. I was making TikToks about my cochlear implants and the process of getting them about a year ago, Daisy stated. Then one of my TikTok videos that went viral was noticed by a producer or casting person. When they asked if I would ever be interested in appearing on The Bachelor, I replied, maybe. Daisy was asked by Serena if she felt it was a tough choice to appear on the show so soon after receiving her cochlear implant. It was definitely a hard decision to go on the show, Daisy remarked because at the time my speech didn't sound as good with my cochlear implant, and I was still really learning a lot with it. It was a topic I discussed extensively with my folks. The entire process of learning how to hear again had already caused me a great deal of stress. The Bachelor Nation star revealed that after feeling so overwhelmed the first night, she wasn't sure if she would be able to stay. I knew going on the show was going to be difficult because I was going to be around people I hadn't met. So I couldn't really focus on their mannerisms, the woman remarked. I had no acquaintances. I also spoke with the producers frequently, expressing my uncertainty about how I would fare. I wasn't sure if I could handle it when I first arrived, and I even told a few of the producers that I needed to go because I wasn't ready for this yet because of all the noise. Daisy, however, said that she was allowed to remain because of the producers and her fellow cast members' assurances. It was wonderful that everyone was so comforting and could find ways to make me feel more at ease, she remarked. Though it was a difficult choice, I'm glad I made it. They kept telling me that the first night would be the most difficult sonically. Daisy also discussed whether or not she's ready to find love again with Joe and Serena later in the podcast. She replied, I believe so. I won't claim that I'm not ready to go on a date. Absolutely, in my opinion, if it was someone truly exceptional and with whom I had a deep connection. You can never predict what will occur. Since I haven't been able to prioritize myself in a very long time, I believe that this is the period in my life when I should do it. I just must prioritize myself, but I also won't say no. Listen to more of Daisy's discussion with Joe and Serena on the podcast. Daisy Bachelor Kent's innocence and gentleness made her famous on The Bachelor, but she also has a sinister side. Before appearing on the reality show, she had starred in an NSFW video. Daisy is now speaking out about the contentious music video to find out more about the circumstances. Audiences astonished by grunt video. Daisy Ken was portrayed as a Midwesterner who was raised on a modest Christmas tree farm on The Bachelor. Her history, reminiscent of Hallmark, had a battle with health problems that caused her hearing to be lost. Daisy Kent, however, performed vocals in 2021 with rising rapper Ave Dollar before going blind. Bachelor Nations discovered this song video on YouTube, and she was also included in it. Since then, the video has been made private, probably as a result of increased curiosity. The songs in the music video's dubious lyrics were what really made them interesting. The lyrics, You Can Lick On My Sack, suck my nuts now, are part of the boisterous chorus of the song. The video can still be found in a Reddit topic that was started two months ago. Fans of Bachelor Nation were in complete disbelief at what they were hearing and seeing. Look at a few of the remarks. WTF. She also gave off the impression that she had been dealing with serious health problems for the past few years. Is that part of the chorus, he says. 
Licks suck on my nuts a lot. It's such a great chorus. Well, this is a whole different side of Daisy than I had anticipated. I can't believe how embarrassing this is. It's crazy that this is the same girl who had the intro package equal of America's sweetheart. PR and Bachelor producers put in a lot of labor. After seeing the video, Nick Vile, a former member of Bachelor Nation, surmised that it would hurt her chances of becoming the next Bachelorette. His forecast came true when Jen Tran was given the job. However, it's not known if the network considered the NSFW video when making its choice. Daisy Kent reveals herself in a divisive music video. Apart from Daisy Kent, there were rumors that Maria Jorgas, a contestant from season 28 of The Bachelor, was also vying to become The Bachelorette. Neither has commented on the veracity of the claims or the reason behind their rejection. Daisy Kent did, however, eventually voice her opinions regarding the divisive music video. She shared a reflection on her time on the ABC dating show on Instagram. No more roses, just daisies, Daisy said as she closed her post. In response, one of her supporters said that those phrases sounded like a bar's name. The competitor from season 28 responded with her own statement. She wrote, should I make another music video? What may have caused such an arbitrary reaction is unknown. Daisy Ken may go into further detail about the NSFW video when she appears as a guest on Nick Vile's program. James, Abigail Herringer made her Bachelor Nation debut in season 25 of The Bachelor. Her appearance on Bachelor in Paradise led to her becoming engaged to Noah Erb. She broke off their conversation to talk about diversity, even though the couple had been discussing a lot about their house renovations. It appeared to backfire, though, as followers started talking about her appearance instead. What took place? Abigail Herringer is hard of hearing. Similar to Joey Graziade's Daisy Kent from The Bachelor, Abigail Herringer is deaf and must rely on a cochlear implant for hearing. She frequently posts information about her deafness on social media and is quite forthright about having a cochlear implant. Production, in contrast to Daisy Kent, did not highlight Abigail Herringer's cochlear implant usage. She was largely dependent on lepreting due to her poor hearing. Thus, she avoided becoming entangled in the drama between the other women. This week, instead of discussing her hearing loss, she talked about diversity. This article's TikTok can be viewed further down. Diversity in the Bachelor Nation examined. She discussed how few persons with disabilities are included on the show in her lengthy letter. The former Bachelor in Paradise star added, in part, the main takeaway from this video, in my opinion, is that viewers like me genuinely just want to be seen on these programs. However, I believe the show falls short in that these tales aren't allowed to develop or that minorities of individuals with disabilities aren't allowed to just naturally share their stories. After leaving the experience, I felt somewhat tokenized since it's almost coming to that point. After a while, Abigail Herringer concluded by saying, I think where Bachelor is missing the mark is they're just not letting all these stories play out naturally. Upon the release of the video on Reddit, thoughtful conversations concerning diversity and the necessity for the show to take into account those with a range of disabilities or impairments ensued. The administrators issued a warning, nevertheless, as an excessive number of users began body shaming and discussing cosmetic surgery. Body comments that are hacked. The OP threatened to delete the thread after the negative remarks made about her appearance by Bachelor Nation fans suddenly grew out of hand. They declared, Nothing could have prepared me for opening the comment section of a video making excellent points on disability representation and advocacy to see all of the comments dissecting her appearance, wrote a reader in response to Abigail Herringer's message. Really, what the f? Some of the less offensive remarks made by Bachelor Nation fans about her appearance have been removed, 
but many of the worst ones still stand. How do you feel about people using a conversation about diversity, a topic that is very important, to discuss Abigail Herringer's appearance? Do you concur with the original poster that it wasn't a kind gesture? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below and return here for all Bachelor Nation news. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.